Cruiser Air 33RE here at Haylet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This one uh, that I'm filming is fresh off the delivery truck, so you might see a couple spots where there might be a little bit of road splash on the nose cap or anything like that. Uh, but uh, this is a very, very slick model. I haven't really seen a cruiser I haven't been thoroughly impressed with yet. Um, the uh, One of the cool things about it, if I back up a little bit here, what you can kind of see is that the trailer has what's called a north-south sweep. It starts lower on the back and sweeps up as you get close to the front. Um, it, uh, it's kind of like the same concept as a fifth wheel if you think about it. A fifth wheel is a little taller, well not a little, significantly taller up front. Where that's really going to be nice in this floor plan is all of the extra headroom that you get in the shower. Uh, I'm 6'3", and I'll stand in the shower in a little bit here and show you there is headroom to spare in this. Now, this has a, uh, a full aluminum cage construction with the fiberglass skin that you see here, and uh, it has uh, a basically residential-style wood truss roof that is truly walkable. That's why we like to put the ladder on the back of these whenever we get the chance. We outfit these very well. Um, we have power tongue jack on the front so you don't have to crank anything to level. We do put an accessory hitch on the back here so you can bring your bikes and cargo pods. We have this outfitted with front and rear power stabilizer jacks, power awning. Everything on this is push button simple. The idea is that you spend less time setting up your campsite and more time enjoying it. Um, yeah, let me step inside here and show you a couple more very interesting things I've always enjoyed about Cruiser. <clears throat> big, big living room in this. I love the large living room. Lots of space, lots of comfort. Um, the air conditioner, we tend to upgrade to a 15,000 BTU instead of a 13.5. What that means in English, if you're not an HVAC expert, that means 50% more cold air power. The color scheme we're looking at today is called Redstone. That is not to say it's the only color that we will ever have in stock. Usually when these come in, I'll record one nice video like this, and I, I show you the way this is laid out, and I tell you the things that make Cruiser worth your investment over another brand. Um, but it, again, it's not to say that this is the exact trailer you might take home. This is kind of for demonstration and informational purposes. You see that we do have a pair of recliners. Um, Cruiser uses a company called Black Label for their furniture. Their, um, their primary seating areas like these recliners, the sleeper sofa behind me that I did just photo a second ago, and your uh, master bed mattress are all Black Label brand, which is basically residential grade stuff. It is far superior to most of the, uh, you know, cheap mattresses and inner spring junk that you find in most travel trailers. Uh, we like to upgrade these to have an 8 cubic foot refrigerator instead of a 6. That means you have 30% more space, but let me show you what that really means. This extra shelf down here, all extra space. Normally you wouldn't have that much. Uh, another thing to point out, just to show you areas where they don't cut corners, they do use a full 22 inch oven instead of the 16 inch mini oven. Um, your cabinetry in this is absolutely second to none. The fit and the finish of everything, you notice they don't use gimp molding, they use crown molding. And look at that, that uh, 90 degree angle right there, that is one of the hardest cuts to, to make reliably and these guys move fast and I see them do that every single time I don't have cabinetry issues with these these things are built like a rock I love it they hold up so well and they come in without flaws they leave without flaws and they stay in your driveway instead of coming back to mine if you feel back in here when you start looking at different travel trailers you'll feel where this is uh, it has pocket screwed cabinetry meaning it's not glued it's not stapled it's really Residential constructed cabinetry. Um, other little touches I like about these. Um, yes, we haven't even taken the plastic off. It's brand new off the truck like I mentioned. But you see how there is padding on the back of this chair as well as the, the seating spot. They cover everything on this. They go to links that most manufacturers simply will not. Um, and again, I, I talked about the shower. Look at this thing. Huge residential type walk-in shower. No tub glass doors. Um, we have a, a real stool, and by that, that's my wedding ring clinking off a real porcelain stool, not a plastic stool. 
Um, the bathroom in here is so cool for several reasons. One, uh, sorry about that. How you doing? I'm Josh, the computer guy. Um, but you have a double door uh, medicine cabinet here. We have lots of space. And here's, it sounds stupid and commonsensical, but look at other trailers. We have extra space here for things like blow dryers, and they have a power outlet right next to it, right where it needs to be. And you think, well, yeah, of course, but most manufacturers don't do stuff like that. It's incredible. Now, I talked to you about headroom. I'm standing in the shower now. I'm about 6'3". I'm wearing big, heavy shoes, and you can see all the extra headroom that I have in here. You can literally stand in this, wash your hair, be comfortable. You don't have to feel like you're ducking in the shower unless you are abnormally tall. And I'm sure there's a couple very tall people in there. And for you tall people, as a segue, <laughs> we have a true queen bed. This is a true 80 inch bed. And I like that this is in the slide out, which gives us this whole front fifth wheel wall to wall wardrobe closet. How cool is that? Tons of storage space in here. Now this is a 50 amp unit. This little plug right here denotes that this is prepped and ready to add a second air conditioner should you be so inclined to do so. You do not have to. This is a 50 amp unit, but with a little like $9 adapter, you can cut that down to 30 amp and run this off any 30 amp site anywhere. So this is a, a travel trailer that can really be flexible to a lot of different needs, different uses, different parts of the country. This thing's on wheels and I have guys with trucks so we can ship this thing anywhere. Um, for a uh, little more information, give us a call at 800-256-5196. Halet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thanks so much, guys. Happy camping.